sponsor is also considered a salesperson of a hotel since he or she is the one facing the client from their arrival to their departure. With this, it is expected that they prepare a sales report for the hotel. Hello future front desk officers, this is Teacher Sess. Join me as we prepare a sales report for your future hotel. Get your ball pen and learning activity sheets and let's start. The first calculation that you're going to deal with is the conversion of foreign currency. Aside from our local guests, we also deal with foreign guests who sometimes pay using their currency. So as front desk officers, you should be updated with the currency equivalence since this changes from time to time. The currency equivalence placed in your learning activity sheets were provided by Google Finance dated July 2021. So you will use this currency equivalence table in solving all the activities placed in your LAS. Let's try the examples given in your learning activity sheets using the currency equivalence table. So letter A, 15 US dollars is how much in Philippine peso? First, you should identify the equivalence of 1 US dollars in Philippine peso using this table. So 1 US dollars is equivalent to 50 pesos. 15 US dollars times 50 pesos is how much? So 15 times 50, that would be 750 pesos. So 15 US dollars is equivalent to 750 pesos. Let's try again another example. 5,000 yen is how much in Philippine peso? Again, identify the equivalence of 1 yen in Philippine peso using the currency equivalence table. So 1 Japanese yen is equivalent to 0 0.46 peso. 5,000 yen times 0 0.46 peso, that would be 2,300 pesos. So 5,000 yen is equivalent to 2,300 pesos. The next calculation would be the preparation of arrival report. As front desk officers, you must always monitor the rooms sold and rooms available to avoid double booking and receiving excess guests. When we say double booking, this is receiving a reservation or a booking for a room which is already occupied or receiving two or more reservation for a room for the same day and time. In the preparation of arrival report, we are preparing the room occupancy percentage or the ROP. In the computation of room occupancy percentage, we are using the formula room sold over total rooms available in the hotel. times 100. Let us write examples placed in your learning activity sheets. Letter A. Gagayan Hotel has a total of 50 rooms. As of July 11, 20 rooms were occupied. Compute for the room occupancy percentage. First, let us place the formula. Room sold over total rooms available times 100 so first identify the number of rooms sold for July 11 that would be 20 next identify the total rooms available 
Gagayan Hotel has a total of 50 rooms multiplied by 100. So, 20 divided by 50 is, yes, that's 0 0.4 times 100. So, 0 0.4 times 100 would be 40%. The room occupancy percentage of Gagayan Hotel for July 11 is 40%. For the next example, you are asked to analyze the daily status report of Botuagan Hotel and compute for the room occupancy percentage. Start by identifying the number of rooms sold. Room 101, Room 102, Room 103, Room 104, Room 105, Room 201, Room 202, Room 203, Room 204, Room 205, Room 206, Room 303, and finally, room 306 with a total of 13 rooms occupied. Next, identify the total number of rooms of Butuagan Hotel. First floor has 6 rooms. Second floor has also 6 rooms and also with third floor with 6 rooms with a total of 18 rooms available. Using the formula, rooms sold over total rooms available times 100, let us compute for the room occupancy percentage of Botuagan Hotel. From the table, there were 13 rooms sold and 18 rooms available okay, times 100. So 13 divided by 18 would be 0 0.72 times 100. So, 0 0.72 times 100 is 72%. So, the room occupancy percentage of Botuagan Hotel is 72%. Finally, the last report that you are going to prepare is the departure report. It is also the responsibility of the front desk officer to compute for the summary of sales by getting the total room sales or the TRS. In getting the TRS, we are using this formula. Number of rooms sold or the NRS times room rate or the RR. Room rates refer to the price of the room sold. We have deluxe, we have single rooms, we have twin deluxe and others. Let us try the example placed in your learning activity sheet. The manager asked you to prepare a total room sales report of the hotel for the month of July. Let us first analyze the table. Room 101 which rates 1000 pesos was sold 4 times. Room 102 which rates the same was sold once. Let us move to second floor. Room 201 which rates 1500 pesos was sold once and room 202 which rates the same was sold twice. On the third floor, room 302 which rates 3000 pesos was sold twice and same as room 303. Let us use this presented table in computing for the total room sales of Batuagan Hotel. First, compute for the total room sales of each room sold. Room 101 was sold 4 times, that's why 4 times 1,000 is 4,000 pesos. Room 102 was sold once, so 1 times 1,000 is 1,000 pesos. Do the same step for the rest of the rooms sold. Afterwards, to get the total room sales of Botuagan Hotel for the month of July, add all the sum of the TRS of each room. All in all, it would be 43,000 pesos. So the monthly TRS of Botuagan Hotel is 43,000 pesos. That ends our discussion for mensuration and calculation for front office services. 
If you still have queries, don't hesitate to ask your teacher. Continue by doing the activities placed in your learning activity sheets. Good luck!